requirements will be observed that in view of that any order which has been passed in violation of the due process of law can be revisited by the Honorable Court. Violation, you say, is because of that interview. Because of that interview. So would that not then require a further inquiry into a factual situation as to what the interview was, what did he say, what would the pressure really mean? Are we also supposed, and I want to understand this, that 186 is a question of law, we just answer the question of law as the question of law is? Or are we to investigate further that what is the ground? reason for that question of law, that being an interview according to you, could we go into the interview, could we then call people, find out what, could we get into this phase of inquiry to answer the question under article 186 or is it simply a question of law without an inquiry? My Lord, it is a question of law that if it comes to, the, to light that a, a particular judgment was a result of considerations other than the due process of law, then that judgment by itself becomes questionable. But this factum, this factum that it was otherwise requires inquiry. But we in can't just simply look at a video and say this happened. What about the other judges? There are a number of judges on the thing. So, I mean, what I want to legally understand is that when we start addressing a question under 186, is it just a legal question or this might, as in this case, entail looking at evidence and then also the veracity of that evidence, the interpretation of that evidence, are we going to entail that, get into that exercise also? My Lord, uh, the immediate response will be based on two Pujab, I want to add one more thing. That can you point out any specific question that is being posed to us in the reference that is to be answered? Specific question for the Supreme Court. My Lord, this Honorable Court itself has posed... No, in reference. Question. In reference, My Lord, the reference is before your Lordship. Then we should be confined to that question. My Lord, no, your Lordship has now framed questions, but the, if your Lordship is looking at the reference on pages 16 to 18, the questions were framed at that time. But I'll, may I read that? Those in a minute, they are here. But in order to answer my Lord, Mr. Sayyid Mansoor Ali Shah's uh, question, my Lord, this arose in the context of an appeal before this Honorable Court, so the issue was open at that time, and it arose in a context where the proceedings had finally concluding in the House of Lords, as it then was called, in the United Kingdom. In the Pinochet case, the House of Lords again by a narrow majority had come to the conclusion that Mr. Pinochet needs to be extradited. An issue arose and your Lordship knows that ordinarily the House of Lords never reviews its judgments once they have given a judgment that's final concluded and the proceedings were over. But an application was made that Mr. Justice Hoffman who was one of the members of the majority his wife was part of the Amnesty International and Amnesty International had submitted an amicus brief so that was a review, was it? My Lord, but your Lordship knows that unlike the, in our case, in the that Constitution That certainly happen if we were to decide a matter, somebody could file a review and say that one of the judges had a... So I want to really understand the jurisdiction under 186. That a question of law, as I understand, is that this judgment is wrong. Fair enough. Can we just look at it? Uh, can we then revisit the judgment and say it is wrong or don't we are relying on some extra material now which you say is the interview which requires inquiry. Could we just take the interview on the face value or are we to, to then find out what the text meant or are we to, some people need to come forward, do we need to cross examine, do we need to get into all this or just take the interview on the face value and that's just one judge. There are a number of other judges who are not saying anything. Maybe they were not under pressure or they were, we don't know. So my legal question is, are we to dive into uh, an inquiry that's envisaged under 186 is my question. Uh, <laughs> चाहे 233 के तहत भी नहीं किया जा सकता है। आर्टिकल 9 की एक अलग बहस है, 
अगर अगर आर्टिकल चार कभी भी खत्म नहीं किया जा सकता है तब ये हम बात क्यों नहीं कर सकते हैं इस केस को अलग रखें मगर हर क्रिमिनल केस में जहाँ के प्रोसिक्यूशन में एलिमेंट ऑफ पॉलिटिक्स इन्वॉल्व हो जाए नेचुरली एक वक्त में जबकि आइन सस्पेंड हुआ हुआ है या ब्रगेट हुआ हुआ है तो हर को क्यों नहीं राइट मिले दोबारा अदालत का रुख करने के लिए कि जी आर्टिकल चार तो आपने नज़रअंदाजी कर दिया तो आपने कहा कि सिर्फ और सिर्फ ये हम इस केस को देख सकते हैं हम सारे ऐसे इस केसेस को क्यों ना देखें ठीक है वहाँ अगर मगर आर्टिकल चार को देखने के लिए कि दरवाज़ा खुलता है या नहीं मेरे हिसाब से आपको केस में जाना पड़ेगा अब सिर्फ ये कह सकते हैं तो नहीं है कि जी क्योंकि उस जमाने में माशा लगा हुआ था तो फला शख्स को फांसी हो गई तो ये अनकॉन्स्टिट्यूशन हो गया नहीं आपको थोड़ा सा और मेहनत करना होगी कि मार्च आर्टिकल चार का तो आपको दरवाज़ा है मगर आर्टिकल चार के दरवाजे को खोलने के लिए आपको कुछ हमें बुनियादी चीजें दिखाना होगी ये जरूरी नहीं कि इसी केस में हो दूसरे केस में भी हो सकता है मगर वो अब देखेंगे अगर सदर साहब मुनासिब समझें कि वहां भी रेफरेंस भेजें क्योंकि रिव्यू का जो रिजेक्शन खत्म हो गया तो फैसला तो खत्म हो गया हर लिहाज से अब रह गया सिर्फ ओपिनियन तो मैं तो कहूंगा कि अगर आपकी बात को हम आगे ले जाए और लॉजिकल कंक्लूजन पर ले जाए तो हर केस में हम कर सकते हैं ये अगर नंबर वन वो उस वक्त में कॉन्स्टिट्यूशनल डिपार्चर हो पहली बात दू, दूसरी बात ये है कि आर्टिकल चार के आप प्राइम फेस आए केस आप इस्टेब्लिश कर पाए तीसरी बात फिर ये होगी कि ठीक है आर्टिकल पहली बात भी हो गई दूसरी बात भी हो गई मगर हर केस इस बुनियाद पे नहीं ख़त्म हो सकता है उस पर ओपिनियन नहीं दिया जा सकता है मगर उसमें आपको कुछ मजीद दिखाना होगा और वो मजीद दिखाने के लिए इस केस में एक जज साहब का इंटरव्यू है दूसरे केस में शायद कुछ और हो सकता है क्योंकि डीएनए एविडेंस आ गई हो फॉर इंस्टेंस कि जो जमाने में डीएनए नहीं होती थी डीएनए एविडेंस आ गई है तो ये आप इससे अग्री करेंगे या आप इससे डिसएग्री करेंगे वेल व्हाट आई वुड मोस्ट रिस्पेक्टफुली एग्री विद इट बिकॉज आई वुड रिस्पेक्टफुली सबमिट दैट दिस इज समथिंग व्हिच इज नाउ हैपनिंग इन द अदर जुरिस्डिक्शंस of the world as well in some cases it is happening in the context of the state having recognized that in politically charged cases injustices can take place which need to be corrected has itself specifically conferred this authority on the courts of law through that's that's fair enough